Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ronnie George and the topic we are going to discuss today is what is a prior art search? So a prior art search is a very commonly used term in the field of patents. So today we'll understand you know what is prior art search and what is the importance of a prior art search. So let's start with the session. Okay, so before we understand what is a prior art search, let's understand what is a prior art. So prior art is basically made of two terms. One is prior and the other is art. Now, if we understand the meaning of each of these terms, then prior means uh, existing or earlier or previous. And art means information or knowledge. So when we combine them, basically the meaning of the term prior art is any information or knowledge that is already existing okay uh, simple enough so now let's see the definition of the term prior art so prior art refers to any existing knowledge or information that is publicly available before a specific invention or innovation now what that means is uh, when we talk about prior art in terms of a patent field so in case any patent application is being filed or you know it is planned to file a patent application so before you know you file the patent application or an, or an inventor files a patent application any information that is existing in the public domain you know before that filing of that patent application is referred to as prior art so that is like an information or knowledge which is already known and that is what is known as prior art Now let's understand what are the examples of prior art or you know what can be considered as prior art. So prior art can be uh, patents whether they are you know uh, patent applications that are yet to be granted or whether they are patent patents that has been granted. So both of them you know uh, if they are in public domain they are published then it is considered as a prior art. Then uh, what other examples? So research papers, which includes uh, scientific literatures or technical papers uh, that are published in journals, they are also known as prior art. They are examples of prior art. Then trade journals. So trade journals are basically industry-specific, uh, you know, documents uh, which which inform about the latest technological advancements happening. So those kind of journals are also considered as a prior art. Then uh, brochures or catalogs, you know, which is basically an advertisement from a company uh, saying that what products they do have or, you know, what are their advantages that can also be considered as a prior art. Then there are books or maybe manuals. They are also considered as prior art Then video. So it's not necessary that it has been. It should be only in the form of a published document. A video is also considered as a prior art and the last thing is uh, public use so uh, whether it's not there in the form of a document or a video but it's it's something which is being used a product let's say a product that is being used by people that whether it's even if it's not a patent uh, you know it has not been a, in the form of a patent or a document but still that product is available that can be also considered as a prior art so these are like uh, some examples prior art covers even more thing so you can imagine whatever is existing and can be shown as a proof is known as prior art okay so now let's come back to prior art search okay so now we have understood what is prior art so now what what does prior art search mean so in simpler terms, prior art search is the process of finding prior arts. Okay. Now, if we go by the definition, then a prior art search is the process of conducting a comprehensive and systematic investigation to identify existing knowledge and invention, which is basically prior art related to a specific technology or field before filing a patent application. Right. So prior art search is basically finding out whatever prior art is existing with respect to a specific invention or a technology. Now, why is prior art search needed? Now, this is a very important uh, question that you know that you need to understand 
in order to understand why a prior art search is needed. Well, uh, the first point is prior art search helps in identifying the existing inventions with respect to a particular technology. Now, this is essential for maybe businesses, you know, uh, companies who are planning to, let's say, start a new chain of products or new start a new chain of services process. So in that case, they conduct prior art search to identify, okay, whatever products are already existing. And based on that, you know, they decide their uh, uh, product chain. Now, if I have to explain this with an example, uh, let's take an example of helmets. Okay, helmets. Now, there is a company who wants to, you know, start a helmet, uh, a, a chain of helmet products. So, what they will do is they will conduct a prior art search, which will give them information about all the, you know, existing knowledge on helmets. What helmets are already existing? What kind of innovations are happening in the helmet? And based on that, you know, they can decide what they want to do, whether they want to come up with an improved design of a helmet or, you know, something uh, improved invention uh, uh, on, the, on the field of helmets, whatever. So this is something which is usually needed by businesses or companies. Then prior art search helps patent applicants in assessing the potential patentability of the invention. Now, if you have, uh, you know, uh, seen my earlier sessions, then I have told you this, that for filing a patent application or uh, for getting a patent grant, there are three main requirements. One is novelty, second is inventive step, and third is industrial applicability. So novelty is basically that the invention for which a patent application is being filed should be new. And what that means is that there should not be that that invention should not have been available already in the public domain, okay, whether in form of a patent or in a published uh, article or in any other form of a prior art. So that is why, you know, it is important for patent applicants to conduct a prior art search before filing their invention, because that will help them to identify, okay, whatever invention they are, you know, just planning to file for a patent, whether that invention already exists or not. In case it is existing, uh, they have two options. One is, you know, they can uh, further modify their invention to make it different from the prior art and then file it. Or, you know, they can, uh, at this point itself, they can, you know, uh, stop with the uh, patent filing process. Because eventually what will happen? You know, they file the application and then, the appli and then they spend some money and they spend their time on it. And then at a later stage, if that invention is already existing, uh, then you know that that reference will be considered as a prior art and this invention which is which is being filed by the inventor will not be allowed a grant so so all that effort and money you know that is wasted so in order to stop that you know it's a prior art search is very important because then it will help them to understand if they if they should even proceed with the invention that they are looking to file a patent application then uh, prior art search can save time, money, and potential legal issues. So this is the point I just explained. You know, if someone is moving ahead uh, without conducting a prior art search, and later they come to know that you know there was a prior art existing, which which exactly talked about you know the invention uh, for which they had filed a patent application, then there are cost, then the effort, money, everything is wasted. So a prior art search can help them identify this, and they can take the precautionary measures in the beginning itself, like before filing the patent application also, uh, and potential legal issues. So if, if let's say there are some prior arts which were available, so, you know, the applicant who had filed that application can maybe sometimes uh, become a legal issue. They can, you know, uh, file a case and then it can, it can lead to some kind of legal issue which can be avoided by conducting a prior art search. Then the last point, prior art search enables you to refine your patent application, adding unique and distinguishing features to increase its chances of approval. So uh, how does this happen? So when I conduct a prior art search uh, and when, you know, I get the list of references. Okay, so these are some similar uh, prior arts which are existing. So based on those references, you know, I can modify uh, my patent application so that, you know, I make sure 
that these that my invention or my patent application is not covering those inventions and that is how you know i am distinguishing my invention with the similar prior arts and improving my chance of getting a patent grant so so this is why a prior art search is very important okay i hope uh, you no know, prior art search the concept of prior art search is clear now the next slide here we will talk about where to conduct a prior art search now uh, as i said you know prior art search includes patents it includes uh, published articles uh, scientific literature technical papers videos public use everything so accordingly the prior art search also needs to be done on those platforms in order to cover uh, all the prior arts so first let's talk about patent database now now patent databases are basically uh, websites or platforms that you know uh, that contain uh, all the data of patents which have been filed and published so so when you conduct a search on patent database you will come across all the inventions uh, that have already been filed by you know uh, everyone else throughout the world and that have been published as well so you first thing is you can conduct a prior art search on patent databases now there are various free patent databases available for everyone to conduct search like google patent e space net patent lens patent scope so these are all you know free patent databases where anyone can go and conduct a search and they will come across you know patent applications which uh, which are similar to uh, their invention and accordingly they can uh, take measures to maybe distinguish their application uh, we'll also conduct a la at later stage you know maybe in some other session i will be explaining a step by step approach how to conduct a patent search or prior art search uh, so that you know it will be helpful for inventors to uh, to conduct a search on their own the second is research uh, paper websites right so as i said you know technical papers scientific literature so there are various websites that uh, help in uh, conducting search like google scholar is one of that the those website where you know you can go and conduct a search on the topic and you will find a, a come across various uh, technical papers related to the topic that you have searched for and uh, accordingly like if you want to understand a specific uh, you want to get the you know full version of a specific document specific paper then uh, you can go to their website and then uh, you can pay and you can get the technical paper then google well google is the basic search engine that we definitely we are regularly use so everyone is aware of it you can conduct a basic google search and then you can find out if uh, you come across any websites or you know any articles which is talking about your invention then youtube youtube is a platform for uh, you know videos so that is also a good place to see if there is any product or you know anyone has created uh, any videos which is talking about an invention similar to you so it, youtube can be helpful in that way so uh, that was it you know these were some of the platforms where uh, one can conduct search and uh, find out what prior arts are existing before they file the patent application this will help them to you know take uh, measures and improve your chance of getting a patent grant also uh, i would recommend that you know if if you are very new to patent domain or patent background you are purely an inventor who is filing to uh, who is looking to file a patent application i would suggest them to you know uh, there are uh, professionals who conduct prior art search on a regular basis so you can also take their help so you can approach various uh, law firms as well as uh, patent agents who work as freelancer so you can approach them and they can help you in conducting a proper prior art search so that was it in this session uh, we will next we will meet again with a new topic and discuss more on ip and patent related matters thank you